Throughout the year, the history of mathematics was uploaded in the different country. A genius mathematician was thinking deep to evaluate the numbers that we can use in the different matters. Because of this, mathematics was rampant in the whole world. But at this point, we focus on one of the countries that they discover mathematics. The mathematics in medieval Europe, but during the century, Chinese, India, Islamic, mathematician, it's been dominance. Throughout the year, Europe had fallen into dark ages, which science and mathematics almost undertaken stagnated. A mathematician in Europe is one of the greatest intellectuals knowledge by their accomplished study and exploring the different types of math which still exist nowadays. The revival of interest in mathematics began with the work of Halbert D. Arilla around 10th century. Despite the lack of mathematical resources available to Europeans at the millennium's turn, scholars were aware that Greeks had an ancient mathematical history, but it was virtually inaccessible to them at that time. This heritage, as well as a portion of mathematics, develops in the Islamic world, was only brought into Western Europe through the work of translator. Many of these works were completed in Toledo, Spain, which had just recently been retaken by the Christians from former Muslim rulers at that time. Beginning the 12th century, European scholars from the great Greek scientific works primarily in the Arabic translation and began the task of translating them into Latin. John of Seville and Domingo Guinea work in the first part of the 12th century for even the first translation themes. The first translation of Euclid's elements from Arabic was done by Adelard of the Bath. In 1126, he also transcribed astronomical Aquazimi Apus tables. His translation includes the first Latin sign tables as well as the first Latin tangent tables. In 1145, another Englishman, Robert of Chester, who had spent several years in Spain, translated the algebra of al -Khwarizmi. In the same year, the Tivoli translator Plato followed. Plato translated Liberam Badurum, Book of Areas by the Spanish-Jewish scholar Abraham Barhea, a work that also contained as Islamic rules for solving quadratic equation. In 14th century, they saw development of new mathematical concepts, and these are the six highlighted mathematicians of the medieval period in Europe. First is Butus and his Quadrivium. Butus was one of the most influential early medieval philosophers. His, fam his most famous work is the Constellation of Philosophy, was most widely translated and reproduced secular work from the 8th century until the end of the Middle Ages. Quadrivium is the fourth subject or arts, namely arithmetic, geometry, music, and astronomy. Second is Leonardo Pisano, Bugolo. He is better known by his nickname Fibonacci. He is an Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa, considered to be the most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. The name he is commonly called Fibonacci was made up in 1838 by the Franco-Tolian historian Guillaume Libri and his short for Filius Bonassi. The third one is Nicole Oresme, also known as Nicolas Oresme. He was a significant philosopher of the later Middle Age. Oresme was a determined opponent of astrology which he attacked on religious and scientific grounds. Henri Proportionobius, Proportionum, or on ratio of ratios, Orasme first fixed examined raising rational number to rational powers before extending his work to include a rational power. The fourth one is Giovanni di Casali, who was a friar in the Persican order, a natural philosopher and a theologian author of works and theology. 
and science. And the people the gate about 346 he worth at three times the velocity motors ultra tunis or on the velocity of motion of the outer race which was subsequently fainted in the Venice in 1505. In it, he presented a graphical analysis of motion of possibility bodies. If this Thomas Bedwardin is Archbishop of Canterbury, a theologian and mathematician. Bedwardin studied at Merton College, Oxford and became a proctor there. About 1335, he moved to London. And in 1337, he was made Chancellor of St. Paul's Cathedral. He became a royal chaplain and confessor to King Edward III. In 1349, he was made Archbishop of Canterbury, but died of the plague soon afterward during the Black Death. The last one is Nicomachus of Durasa. He was an important ancient mathematician, best known for his works Introduction to Arithmetic and Manual of Harmonics in Greek. He was born in Gerasa in the Roman province of Syria and was strongly influenced by Aristotle. He was a new Pythagorean who wrote about the mystical properties of numbers.